This is to introduce our work, FFHQUV, Normalized Facial UV Texture Dataset for 3D Face Reconstruction. 3D face reconstruction can be effectively achieved by parametric fitting with a 3D morphable model. In this process, the 3D face dataset used to construct the 3D MM bases is crucial. For texture map recovery, there are two key aspects that deserve attention, which are the fidelity and quality. To recover a high fidelity texture map, the facial texture dataset needs to have higher diversity so that the texture bases can have larger expressive capacities. And, recovering a high quality texture map requires the textures and dataset to be evenly illuminated and without undesired hairs or accessories. However, few existing facial texture datasets can satisfy both of above aspects. This table gives a summary of existing datasets. To address this issue, we intend to contribute a facial UV texture dataset. This dataset is derived from in the wild faces, which can achieve sufficient diversity while avoiding the expensive acquisition process. Furthermore, the texture maps in it have even illuminations, neutral expressions, and clean facial regions. Starting from an in the wild face, the dataset creation pipeline first performs the Stylegan based facial image editing to produce multi view normalized faces. In this process, the lighting, eyeglasses, head pose, hair, and facial expression attributes are normalized in sequence. Here, the faces have even illuminations and clean facial regions. Then, we extract facial textures from these multi view faces and blend them together to obtain a complete texture for facial region. Specifically, we use a trained deep 3D model to predict the shape and head pose of each view face. Based on this, we unwrap the facial UV texture by projecting the 2D face image onto the 3D face model. Finally, we correct the artifacts and complete the texture map beyond facial region with the template texture map. Here, we get the final normalized texture UV map. We apply the proposed dataset creation pipeline to the images in FFHQ dataset and produce our FFHQ UV dataset. The FFHQ UV dataset consists of over 50,000 high quality UV texture maps, which are evenly illuminated and ready for realistic renderings. To evaluate the diversity of the FFHQ UV dataset, we compute the standard deviation of ID vectors presented in the dataset. This table shows that FFHQ UV inherits the most ID variations in FFHQ, over 90%. In addition, our FFHQ UV dataset has a higher ID standard deviation value compared to FACE escape dataset. This indicates that FFHQ UV is more diverse. To quantitatively evaluate the illumination of UV maps, we present a new metric, namely brightness symmetry error. This table gives the average BS error computed over the whole dataset. It shows that the Stylegan based editing step in our pipeline effectively improves the quality in terms of more even illumination. Furthermore, the BS error of our dataset is competitive with that of FHScape, which is captured under controlled conditions with even illumination. This indicates that our dataset is indeed evenly illuminated. Based on the proposed FFHQUV dataset, we train a GAN based texture decoder and take it as a nonlinear texture basis. In addition, we develop a three-stage algorithm for better 3D face reconstruction. This table shows the quantitative results on the relay benchmark, where a method based on FFHQV dataset outperforms state-of-the-art single image reconstruction approaches. The table also shows that our method outperforms baseline variants, including linear 3D MM initializer and stage 1, parameter optimization with PCA texture basis, and the texture decoder trained using UV map dataset created without generating multi-view images. The results demonstrate that our texture decoder effectively improves the reconstruction accuracy. In addition, we compare the proposed FFHQ UV dataset with the texture UV maps from FACHescape dataset. The results show that training from scratch using the FACHescape dataset does not perform well. Using FFHQ UV as per training and fin tuning with FACHescape brings substantial improvements, but still decreases the result compared to ours due to loss diversity. These figures show the visual comparison with GANFIT and Avatar methods. Note that there are undesired shadows and uneven shadings in the UV maps obtained by Ganfit and Avatarm. In contrast, our reconstructed shapes are more faithful to input faces, and our recovered texture maps are more evenly illuminated and of higher quality. These figures show the visual comparison with normalized Avatar method, where our results better resemble the input faces. This mainly thanks to the more powerful expressive texture, decoder trained on our much larger dataset. These figures show some examples of our reconstructed results, where the produced textures are detailed and uniformly illuminated which can be rendered with different lighting conditions. This video gives some examples of the proposed FFHQ UV dataset, which are rendered with different lighting conditions. Please refer to our paper and supplemental material for more discussions and experimental results. Thank you.